But I want us all, but I want to show you guys something with It has 19.5 cubic yards. Yeah, the dirt monkey. Yes. The dirt monkey. Yes. I don't think I've ever seen this in any other trailer company, period. All right, guys, we're at the NATDA show, and we're going to be going through and showing you every trailer, all of the new innovations coming down the pipeline. And the very first one that I spot is like the transformer of trailers. There it is hauling a UTV, and there it is folded up. 100% aluminum, folds in two minutes, stores in 40 inches, can carry 2,300 pounds. And this is the guy that's gonna walk us through it. Chris, how are you, buddy? I'm good, how are you? Good. Tell me about this trailer, if you don't mind. So that's a trailer that was invented in uh, Canada uh, just a few years ago. We've just introduced the product to the United States uh, at the end of 2020. That's our first trade show here. Mm -hmm. That's a trailer that was designed for people who want to use their trailer, don't really have the space or don't want to waste the space in the trailer. So it's a versatile one. You can use it for pretty much everything. You know, motorcycle, ATV, UTVs. And when you don't need the trailer, when you don't use it, you can collapse it. It's very easy. I'll show you. You should have four. That's how you collapse the trailer. You can see. It's easy, it's light, it's made of aluminum, so it, it doesn't rust as well. That's, that's pretty good. And when you collapse it, as you can see with the others, you can store them in 38 inches. 38? 38. 38 inches. So this is this trailer completely folded up right there. And you have the different sizes. So we, we range from 4x8 to 6x12. And uh, that provides you with different sizes that you see here. And this is called an Apogee trailer. Apogee is the, the company. The name of the product is the Adaptex. That's the transformer trailer. The transformer trailer? Yes. <laughs> I actually said that when I was walking. Is that what you guys call it too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, people, people tell, uh, tell us often that that looks like a transformer. Hey, what is the price on these things? So they range anywhere from uh, 3,000 to 5,000, and depending on the size. And you can also add options whether you know you use it for uh, for a canoe and you need the canoe rack, for example, to go on top at the ATV under. So we have about 15 different options that you can add to customize to meet. And even though you're made in Canada, are you sold worldwide or? We are selling North America wide for okay. now. And because they're very compact, it's easy for us to ship them. So we are looking for you know dealers across the world. Very cool. There you go, guys. That's the first one. Let's go to the next one. What? I do. I saw it. Yeah, I'm Stan. Stan, and I saw that one of your other guys is here everywhere. Like tools? Yes, yes, yeah, the dirt monkey. Yes. The dirt monkey. Yes. Dirt yeah. monkey, yes. Yeah. Nice meeting you, sir. Nice meeting nice. you, sir. Keep the good one. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. We don't want to interfere with them, but let's just take a look at it. It looks like the one they got on display is a scissor hoist. They've got the toolbox split in half on either side of it. They do have an integrated step. I don't know if that's an add-on option. They've got the seam in the center going down. Right here, you can activate, you can use the flip up tailgate. You can split it down the middle. All right. Well, there you go. I won't keep those guys. That's the raw Max trailer. Let's keep looking around. On the wingman, well, Wilmer here is actually knows the truth. Wilmer, how are you, buddy? Hey, doing good. Good. Hey, all right. So tell me what you guys do different on this trailer. So basically what we've been trying to do is get a trailer out there that looks different. Mm -hmm. That when a customer walks in that sees that it's not just a typical normal trailer. So basically we've eliminated the whole rub rail on the side. So we got no rub rail, no tie downs on the outside. Like you've seen, you know, all the trailers in years, like mm -hmm. 20, 30 years, that's been the normal trailer. So we've designed a wing that you can customize all your tie downs on the inside of the trailer. So these you can position at every two feet, every four feet, every, every six feet. 
You can also change them out with a uh, e-track that you can latch in your hooks anywhere you like at every two inches. Okay. You can also customize all your working lights anywhere you want on the side wing. Uh, it's designed on a six inch I-beam frame, which is a light duty frame, but the wing re reinforces the, the I-beam to where it's now just as tall as a 10 inch I-beam. So as you can see, this is sitting on a six inch I-beam frame, but the wing comes out so the wing creates the strength for the trailer frame. So now you don't need that big frame for the 14 GBW car. But this is a dedicated car hauler. This is less of a universal. This is more of a, it's you're a gonna car, haul a car. So it's a car hauler. So this one's actually, it has a higher, um, higher lift because they're gonna, use, you know, they're gonna use it for both, car haulers and equipment. So for equipment, you want a higher trailer because you're gonna go off road. So if you want this specifically for cars, what you're going to do is you're going to put drop axles on here so that, that you get that low rider car oh, hauler, like okay. for street use. Okay. So for equipment, you're going, to, you're, going, you're going to go with higher clearance. For cars, you're going to go with your lower clearance. Mm, so you can customize this for that. Yep. Okay. And then also, you don't have your normal ramps that you slide out, lift, and hook onto the rub rail. So this one, as you can see, you just, when you slide it out, it has a stop. Yep, yep. So you can't pull it out. You just drop it and you're good to go. Okay. Let's find out. Yep, but not bad. Built in stops. Look at that. Built in stops. Nice. If any guy, if the guys want more information, where would they go to get um, Rawmax right. trailers or what? Rawmax trailers. So our website is just rawmax.com. Okay. This is a new trailer that we have not listed on the website because we wanted to wait after the show. Okay. So this one's going to be on there in a couple weeks from now. Okay. It's going to have it's going to have all the details. We got all the designs ready, so we're ready for production on it. We're using the toolbox here as, for reinforcing the the strength of the I beam. Mm, okay, so you, it's a lightweight trailer, but just as strong as any other 14 GBW trailer. Is that an add-on option? Nope, that's standard. Standard. Yep. Wilmer, mm -hmm. thank you, sir. Hey, you're welcome. Appreciate thank it. You. All right, Raw Max trailers, and there you go. Yep. Jonathan, the story starts with this guy over here, and that trailer right there. That guy. Casey Marks. Casey Marks. So he was working for a dealer, dealer of ours, and mm -hmm. he looked at this setup here, and he he was thinking to himself, man, this this has to make money. This roll-off setup, you know, you could rent these bins out and make money doing it. So he bought a trailer like this right here, mm -hmm. and then he bought a couple of bins as well, and rented them out. On he Facebook. bought three bins. Three, three bins. He started with three. Three bins and a trailer. So that he was in for about. $30,000 somewhere around there and uh, started out that way and pretty soon all his bins were rented out so he was going back to the dealership and, and getting more so <laughs> I'm leaving I just want to say a lot thank you very much yes sir two o'clock I have a flight back okay so what my understanding of the story is he started out with three bins he started renting them out on Facebook and pretty quickly he was just overbooked i think he ended up buying another seven bins right out of the gate then yeah you know what I mean? he bought seven more just to keep up with the demand and started yeah. his own company yeah and just, just just boom he, he was in business and he's in business and pretty soon he was to the point where other people were were getting into the business because he was sharing a story with them and, and he's starting to help others get in the business and he just legitimately started with this setup this setup right here and like this okay he had a one ton truck which you can even do it with a three quarter ton truck but a lot of these guys they they like to have a dually it's just a little more planted on the road yep and you know it's a 14k trailer you know it's rated for 14,000 pounds uh, so this is a six foot bin right here this is the largest bin it has 19.5 cubic yard capacity holy crap 14 to 12 and a half yep 12 and a half and then this one here is just under six yards. So this is for a concrete bust out, stuff like that. It's the heavy stuff. Yep. What, what will often happen is you'll get guys, they'll fill these, you know, the four foot size or even the six foot size. They'll fill them up with dirt and yeah, debris, heavy you debris. Can't do that. And that's just way too heavy. You, you know, can't that's, do that. That's light debris right there. Any, any dump in my neck of the woods has got a 10 ton limit. I don't care what you put in it. 
You can fill it up with couch sofa cushions as long as they don't weigh over 10 tons. Right. You're done. So, so that's the light debris. You know, you can do a little more weight on this four foot, and then this is for the heavy stuff. This is a seven gauge side and floor inside. So this, I mean, this is built like a tank for the concrete bust outs and whatnot. And okay. we have the flatbed for equipment, so I mean, really, you can do it all with this. Oh, really you can haul a flatbed. You can so haul a flatbed for equipment. You got the ramps there. So there's your flatbed. Let's right. go check that out real quick. The question is, what's the price point on something like this then? The price point, you're going to be around 30 to 35 for a for a trailer and a couple of bins. That's kind of the entry, 30, 35 grand. But you're in business but then. You're in if, business. You, if you have a pickup truck and you're renting them out, what is, so let, let me ask you this, did he ever disclose what he was getting for rent out fees? Somewhere between 250 and 400 a week, depending on the bin and, and whatnot. And the location. And so it's and kind of on a weekly basis. Yeah, you know, you'll yeah, put yeah. it out in somebody's yard. And then it's just a one week rental and then he comes and he services that that bin you know once it's full he brings it to the landfill pays a landfill fee on it and uh and yeah, that's that's the business for you so well, thank it's, it's you a huge opportunity man thank you for sharing his story all right guys we're at flow trailers and it's my the utility trailer that changed everything they've got a completely polymer ultra body it never rusts it never corrodes doesn't dent as far as i know it never needs paint it'll never rot it's pure polymer and it looks like this one is a tilt deck trailer and the body is aluminum so wherever it's not polymer they actually use aluminum and then they have a tandem axle. Now this is new to these guys this year. The Versamax UT by Flow Trailers. Look at this ramp. Literally just going through discovering it with you guys. A marketing guy went back and maybe press back I I don't need a marketing. I just wanted to kind of get familiar with the trailers. That's all. I mean, I, I've never seen, you guys are a good old Minnesota company and I've just never seen a, a polymer trailer yeah. like that. Do they dent? Oh, hey Don, I'm Stan. I'm the Dirt Monkey. I'm oh, making right. a video on innovations in the trailer industry. Oh, okay. And I've just seen these, so can you just kind of walk me through what you guys do with these trailers so these guys can get familiar with them? So who's these guys? My audience on YouTube. The right dirt now? Monkey, the Dirt Monkey audience. Yeah, do you need time to set up? I don't understand what you're doing exactly. Are you shooting live stuff or what are you doing? No, it's not live. It's okay. recorded, but I am yeah. recording right now. And I was just looking this over and you walked up. And I figured I'd just say, well, maybe you could point me out some features of it. I don't know if I want to be on there or not. I'm not familiar with it. Okay. I think I need to do my diligence before I just started do, uh, signing do, up for things. Do your diligence. That's a smart man. And yeah. I like the way you put that too. Yeah. So we'll let him do his due diligence and we'll see if he comes back on camera in a little bit. <laughs> well, every now and then I have an interesting story that comes out of one of these shows. And this guy happened to be one of them because as soon as I turn that camera off, he starts to ask me how much I get paid, where the money comes from, who's paying me, where the footage goes, and no footage will be allowed to be seen unless he has the right to review all of that footage, have editing rights before it goes live, and then I get to post it for you guys. And you guys know that even me just telling you this story right now is kind of getting me torqued because that is never going to happen. My job is to never worry about making a company look good, bad or in between they can do that all on their own as far as i'm concerned but coming down the pipeline we've got a video about the ultimate dump trailers it's like the transformer of trailers like you've seen the 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 uh trailer earlier in this video that transformed well there's a dump trailer that does almost something similar but different and that's coming up down the pipeline and i hope you guys like trailers as much as i do because i love trailers i love me some trailers guys god bless go get them and we'll catch you on another one you guys